Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm building an e-bike and this is the first video of a series in which I'll show you how I attach this motor and this freewheel to the cycle. I cycle to school every day, which is 2 kilometers away from my home. I like cycling, but... I don't like cycling uphill. <laughs> So I am making an e-bike which will assist me while going uphill or when I am tired. I started by dismantling the cycle and removing the nuts on either side and then removing the wheel. This is so that I can attach a free wheel to the hub of the wheel. To remove the existing free wheel, I needed a tool which can hold the free wheel and loosen it. So I started making the tool which needed two pins to hold onto the free wheel. I used a custom made angle grinder to cut down two stainless steel pins. Then I sharpened the edges of the pins so that it will fit in the free wheel. I then measured if the length was correct using calipers. I am making this tool which has these two pins and will help to loosen the free wheel. The free wheel needed a lot of force to be removed. I tried to use the tool but since it was made up of wood, it broke when too much force was applied. Finally, I took the wheel to the cycle shop where he removed the free wheel using this special tool. After that, I attached a spacer and tightened it using this tool. Then I attached the original free wheel and tightened it. I need not tighten it with too much torque because as I'm riding the bicycle, it will automatically tighten itself. I then attached the second free wheel which will be connected to the motor through a chain. This is how it looks after attaching the wheel back to the cycle. These are the two free wheels. The right one is connected to the pedal and the left one will be connected to the motor. Next I attach the motor to the mounting plate using three M6 bolts. The motor which I am using here is a 250 watt brushed motor which is connected to a gearbox to increase the torque and reduce the speed. While going on flat ground, I recorded the power draw to be around 200 to 250 watts and while going uphill or when accelerating, it was around 500 to 600 watts. Then I attached the motor to the cycle. I also made two custom aluminium brackets to hold the motor, which is this. I also tensioned the chain between the motor and the sprocket. I have used a foam piece here between the aluminium bracket and the cycle frame to increase the friction between the two and hold the motor more securely. Ok, so now the mechanical part of building an e-bike is done. In the next video, I'll show the electronics and the final assembly of the e-bike.